Shaping a Sustainable Economy in Southwest Virginia. That's the goal of a series of forums that wrapped up tonight. Organizers of the Southwest Virginia's New Economy Initiative met with community members and local officials tonight in Tazewell and Pennington Gap, hoping to develop ideas on how to improve the region's economy in the wake of historic losses to the coal industry. I stopped by the gathering in Pennington Gap where folks talked about how Kentucky is a good example of the kind of changes they'd like to implement. They're here to help their region. People from across southwest Virginia gathered Tuesday night at the Pennington Gap Community Center to brainstorm ways to diversify the area's economy. We know there's a lot of great work by government planning agencies, a lot of really good work happening by city councils and county boards. Um, what we just want to make sure is, like I said, that regular people have a chance to voice what their hopes and dreams are for what the economy looks like in 10 years. An economy that could benefit from coal's rich history, even though the industry is suffering. Jason Sturgill is a financial advisor who lives in Pennington Gap and says he's hopeful solutions to Southwest Virginia's economic woes will be found. Southwest Virginia has so much more to offer than just coal and I think it's now's the time for us to look at those other options and figure out what's best for the citizens of Southwest Virginia and get, get our area moving forward. Organizers say they've heard many great ideas during these meetings and hope to have as much success putting them into action as the SOAR initiative in Kentucky. And we've had a mix of elected officials and regular folks, and I think several of them have mentioned the SOAR initiative and wishing that we were as far along in our process as Kentucky seems to be. As efforts continue to help the region transition smoothly in a time of economic uncertainty.